Okay, so option number two. When I hit into the guard again, partner started shin to shin. I attempt to push off. Uh, I attempt to take the, the shin to shin off center. And I'm trying to get my knee cut. If I can't get the guard to go off center, this is when the problem occurs. Because when I come into here and I try to get the middle line, he gets shin to shin, he sits up, establishes. When he starts dropping off to get the elevation, if I can't take it off this way and he gets to here, then chance I will not be able to achieve this direction now, and he will be able to get single leg X. So when he pummels and kicks, he's going to pummel leg through and catch. So when I'm in this scenario here, again, pushing through the toes, create that shin barrier, that pressure. And what I'm going to do this time is instead of trying to get the underhook when he sits back to stay tight, I'm going to try and ride forward now, so I drive straight up the body, circle my foot, and achieve an inside staple. So I change the angle on this. Look, I'm attempting to get inside lines. Boom, he established shin to shin. I try to get my underhook, and I try to come off to the set, uh, off center his guard. If I can't do this because he starts going backwards and creating the elevator, look, I put my weight forward, and see how my foot slides up the shin. If my foot lock is directly hooking on his foot, when I try to roll my foot, I won't be able to clear. But if I go up the guard, my foot's high on the shin. When I roll my foot this time, I'll be able to clear it and establish a staple on the leg, which will now give me a good passing position.